हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू द टेट्राहाइड्रोन केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस सो इन द कंसेप्ट बूस्टर सीरीज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन द बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम योर जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बट यू शुड नो दिस कंसेप्ट वेरी वेल बिकॉज इन यूर जेई एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज इन यूर सी एस आई आर एंड द नेट एंड द गेट एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज इन द आई आई जैम यू मे फाइंड दीज टाइप्स ऑफ द क्वेश्चन रेगुलरली every now and then they present these questions actually okay so before going into the detail you should understand what are the lactams what are the lactones what are the exocyclic oxygens all these concept you should know so for example i am drawing this species nitrogen is present in the say six membered ring sorry for my bad drawing let me draw it again say this is your six membered ring containing a carbon double bond oxygen and here nitrogen is present okay and of course that nitrogen is connected with certain group r it may be your alkyl group or the aryl group so this is the lactam you should know the lactams see lactam is what uh, the carbonyl system along with the nitrogen alpha position at the alpha position of the carbonyl you should have the nitrogen functionality that is called the lactam okay and then you may write another lactam say you are having this species okay and you put double bond here and again you can connect nitrogen to it and then you are then for this functionality and then you are having say you are this compound which is a four membered ring and of course at the at this position you are having the carbonyl functionality and this is the r so the uh, this series is actually the lactam series similarly say if you are having uh, oxygen uh, connected uh, with this uh, oxygen present at this alpha position to the carbonyl group then those compounds would be lactones that means cyclic ester so oxygen i can write here okay similarly i can write say this is your five membered system okay double bond oxygen and you can write oxygen over there similarly this you may have double bond and oxygen here so these are the lactones okay these are the lactones and these are the lactams so your cyclic amide basically are the lactams and your cyclic esters are your lactones you should know now you see the bond uh, please uh, see carefully this point the bond which is present outside the ring is known as the exocyclic ring exocyclic bond or oxy exocyclic substituent so this oxygen which is present outside the ring is actually the exocyclic oxygen same is true for this one this is also exocyclic this is also exocyclic and same is true for this lactone this is exocyclic this is exocyclic oxygen and these are the exocyclic oxygen okay and you know these oxygens they are having the lone pairs over there okay and due to the presence of the lone pairs this they may readily grab the proton from somewhere that mean they are the proton acceptor okay or it may they may donate uh, its electron pair to other species so they are the lewis bases or you may say the bronsted bases so okay so the oxygen which is present outside is basically basic in nature and it's it depends upon the reaction condition you may call it as the bronsted base or the lewis base okay and same is true for your lactones also so this oxygen which is present outside the ring is basically basic in nature okay so this oxygen is uh, basic in nature so i can mark or i can show this arrow just like that so this is basic in nature now the question comes out of the uh, three compounds say if you see the lactams out of these three which one would be highly basic which oxygen is the highly basic and which oxygen would be the lowest basic so from here you will remember this very fantastic and very fundamental concept very very important concept okay remember one thing see whenever the ring size increases so i can write here whenever the ring size say for example i am writing ring size decreases okay so here you see it's a six membered ring it's a five membered ring and it's a four membered ring that mean on moving from left to right ring size decreases 
when ring size decreases then internal bond angle please remember this point internal bond angle internal bond angle also decreases like you can understand uh, if you if you want to know the bond angle so bond angle between these two carbons is somewhere around say 120 degree in the cyclohexane okay when it comes to the cyclopentane so this bond angle is somewhere around 107 degrees okay and that bond angle which is 90 degree but to be correct it is 88 degree so you see when the ring sizes decreases from six member to the four membered okay the bond angles also decreases so bond angle also decreases and remember when the bond angle decreases then the p character remember then the p character in the cyclic bond in cyclic bond increases remember that mean that is s character decreases this is something very very important and this is true for the cyclic bond okay cyclic bond remember and the reverse is true for the exocyclic systems that mean the bond which is present outside the ring here actually you see in that case s character actually increases s character increases and you know s character increases means it will have higher electronegativity see if s character so i can write here if s character increases then electronegativity that is en increases and when electronegativity increases it simply means it will not lose electron it will not lose electron and when it will not lose electron it would be a poor electron donor poor electron donor poor electron donor means less basic okay so if you know this much of concept then it then it is quite easy so in that case you see from six member to four member actually you see the ring sizes decreases when ring sizes decreases it simply means in this actually here at, at this particular point in the internal angles internal bonds s character actually would decrease and the p character would increase but outside the ring the reverse will happen p character will decrease but s character will increase due to the uh, uh, see it is it is due to the formation of the bond actually okay so when s character increases that means this oxygen will have the higher s character and when this oxygen has the highest s character that means it will reluctant to lose its electron pair and when it will reluctant to lose its electron ele its electron pair that means it would be less basic so remember out of these three lactams which are which i have shown here the highest basic oxygen would be present at the six membered ring and lowest basic character oxygen would be there in the four member ring so this is least basic oxygen and this oxygen is highest is having highest basicity and same concept you can apply also for your lactones okay so this is the little concept booster for you I hope you understood the things well. Okay, so if you understood the thing well, so please subscribe the tetrahedron chemistry classes and do share with your friends also. Okay, guys. So that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.